asking for feedback is invaluable. And you can do this in just about every stage of your process. So after you've booked somebody and you do your consultation, now's a good time to be like, hey, you know, how helpful was the stuff that I've sent you to prepare for the shoot, to prepare for anything, right? Uh, how easy was it to navigate the website? Did you have trouble getting a hold of me when you wanted to reach out to me? Just ask a couple simple questions and find out. And if enough people start telling you, yeah, the contact form didn't work, or I tried calling the number, but it was some pizza place instead, but... I found you on a business card and you know, then you know that there was an error somewhere and you can go fix that thing. Cause who knows how many other clients you're missing out on because of that one thing. Uh, I know that I've had broken links on my website and I had no idea cause there's a thousand links in my website and maybe I checked all of them, but three and those are the three that are broken. I want everything to work. And that's, that's why it's great to have another set of eyes on it. And if, you know, you don't have somebody else like working with you to do all of those things, then let your clients tell you because they totally will. People are full of opinions and they are happy to share them with you. Ask about how people felt about things. Did you feel prepared for that? How comfortable were you in the location? Not did you like this or did you like that? Because that's like, oh, yeah, that was pretty cool, I guess right? Those are the answers you're going to get. So ask for very specific things and take notes. Also ask them ahead of time if you can take notes and use some of these things as a testimonial on your website. And almost everyone is going to be cool with it, but you want to get this part in writing also. So ask if you can use their name and a photo of them with their testimonial. And if they say no to either of those things, totally cool. If they only want you to use a photo or only want you to use a name, then that's cool. And if they don't want you to use a photo or a name, then you can just use the feedback for your own purposes without sharing it. But if you can get them to let you at least use a name and some feedback, then you can put these, you know, sprinkle them all over your website and your sales copy, and it is totally going to help you convert more clients. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you never miss an episode. And be sure to swing on by our private Facebook community, Photogs Unite, where you can learn with other photogs from around the world who are just like you. And until next time, photogs, remember that every photo you take brings you one step closer.